Hey, everybody. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I was just coming to y'all um, to elaborate on a post I um, made. Do I owe anybody an explanation? Absolutely not. But I don't mind giving y'all a clarification. I don't, I'm on mind helping y'all get a better understanding of what I'm trying to say. Okay? Because at the end of the day, I want to make sure it brings glory to God. And I want to make sure it points you to Christ. Um, the Bible, the gospel ain't never popular opinion. Folks always want to argue. Um, if God has called you to do something, if God has purposed you to do something, right? It's in accordance to his He created will. you to do something already. So if he created you to do something, he's having you walk in purpose and execute things on his behalf. You better believe he is going to provide for you to be able to do what's necessary to fulfill his purpose. That's really what the um, post is. I'm going to insert the post here. Simple enough, right? Simple enough, right? Um, I ain't never out here trying to hurt nobody's feelings. I ain't never at nobody, none of that. But it's the Holy Spirit that convicts, right? <laughs> it's the Holy Spirit that convicts, right? I don't even know y'all. <laughs> Half y'all, I don't even know y'all. I didn't even know you was going to see the post. I didn't even know. So I ain't talking to nobody. But if God is trying to minister to you through something I posted, then glory to God. Like I said, he going to get the glory. He going to do it for his namesake. And that applies to even a Facebook post, right? It apply to everything. God created you to be an answer in the earth, right? He created Jocelyn because there was a group of people that he's going to assign to me in my life that I'm supposed to witness to, that I'm supposed to be good to, that I'm supposed to set an example for through my lifestyle, um, hoping that my lifestyle draws them to Christ, right? Um, so I really can't too much be concerned with y'all perspective and y'all priorities. I cannot. Priority number one for me is staying saved, and telling the good news, whether it be through my lifestyle, whether it be through my YouTube channel, whether it be through my Facebook page, whether it be through my TikTok, my number one goal is to give glory to God, right? However, I got to do it. I'm about my father's business. Goal one is kingdom business. Why? Because Matthew 6 and 33 says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything else going to fall into line. So all I got to do is seek, seek him you. in my parenting, seek him in my finances, seek him in my employment, seek him in my in my um relationships. What? I'm seeking him in everything because I need all of that. <laughs> all of that to line up. You know what I'm saying? So I really, honestly, I don't really have to worry too much about my priority list right um because the bible says what i'm supposed to do so i really just gotta walk that out but then when it comes to priority as long as priority number one is christ as long as priority number one is my salvation and my faith i'm good out here right because it's gonna cause me to be right it's gonna cause me to do right it's gonna cause me to have a good perspective oh that felt good to my spirit that ain't enough but confirm my post it's gonna cause me to have a good perspective when you are a walking testimony, God allows you to have a better perspective. My perspective as a believer has caused me to change how I do everything. See, I, I really have a full understanding that the battles that we fight are not of this world. It's spiritual, right? This is a spiritual world. It's going to manifest first in the spirit before in the flesh. And it ain't really my coworker. It ain't really my kids. It ain't really my friends. It ain't really my sister and my brother right? It's not really them. So my perspective is a little different. And even in that, I see Christ in that. My perspective and how I want to raise my children is not a do as I say, it's a do as I do, which also causes me to have to live better because I want my children to do better, to see better, to be better, right? So it's all about your perspective, right? It's all about that. I say all that to say this. It's all about perspective. It's all about priority. But when it comes to my walk with Christ, when it comes to my faith, when it comes to my salvation, I really tell y'all, even in my priorities, even in my perspective, I'm trying to submit it to Christ first so that I know that I'm doing right by the things that I'm trying to do, that I know that I'm doing right by the people that I encounter. Listen, I kid y'all not. Um, Y'all can legit make a post about me right 
and I'm not going to know what's about me. How do I, how do I walk like that? How do I live like that? Because I know I ain't did none of you. I'd be like, Zane, that's messed up. I mess around like and share your post. Child, because I know it ain't about me because I ain't did nothing to nobody. I ain't did nothing to nobody. And then somebody can make a post, ain't got nothing to do with me. They don't know me. They don't even uh, rel relatively deal with me in any kind of way. And I and it touches my spirit. It convicts my spirit. I'm going to let it do that, though. I'm going to say, ouch. I'm going to say, amen, because you on my porch. You at my door. You in my business. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to take it to God and see what he want me to do with it. Don't be offended, y'all. Offense is the bait of Satan. Don't let him trick y'all and be offended by everything people post. Be convicted. That I know I'm doing right by my purpose, right? I take a little bit of time every day to resubmit myself and my purpose and my perspective and my priorities to Christ to make sure that I'm doing right by them, that I'm doing what he want me to be doing with them. And I suggest y'all do the same. Y'all make sure y'all stay blessed. Y'all continue to do y'all best. Peace.